What's going on you beautiful people? Welcome to another video and in front of me in my hands is the new iPhone 11 Pro, 512 gig of storage and it's iPhone launch day so uh, I picked up one of these and I've also got the Apple Watch as well so the Series 5 uh, so make sure you subscribe so you can see that video as well. I'll literally shoot that video after this one and put that up as well. But in the meantime, let's unbox this and see what it's about. Let's have a quick overview of what you get when you pick up one of these and uh, see what's new as well. Let's get on with it. So here it is. This is the iPhone 11 Pro. So this is a Pro Edition with the three lens uh, setup. And this is the packaging that you get. So you actually get the color of the smartphone on the packaging. So this is the space, space gray edition. So if you get a different color, uh, this will be something different on the box when you get it. And this is very easy to peel off as well. So I quite like that it, they made it easier to peel this off by just doing so. Just blocking my IMEI number there. Uh, so if you just take this out. Oh, that looks so nice. So this is actually, as you open it up, it's not the front, you get the back first, which is quite interesting. Uh, if I remember clearly in the past, it's the front that you see the first time. So the logo has been moved down halfway through. And uh, I read on Twitter today from Tom Warren, that the UK uh, or European edition will have that CE logo on the on the bottom there. Um, let me just show you guys. Uh, so you see that CE logo just there uh, because of the uh, European law. Um, but I think the US version is just plain. So you get the logo and that's it, which would be a lot nicer, but uh, we can deal with that first of all problems. And that's the front of the device itself, as you can see there. We'll come back to that uh, just in a second. If we get this out, we get the uh, user manual as usual, quick start guide, etc. Uh, SIM ejector tool is there as well, and you get some stickers, some Apple stickers, so you can stick it on uh, whatever you want, like your suitcase and so on. Um, here you got the new plug as well, so this is a supercharge or fast charge, uh, rather, uh, plug, which is actually nice to have that uh, in the box for once. And this is the collapsible once it's USB-C port there, so I like this uh, mechanism here, so when you're taking it on travels, it's easier to take away without hurting yourself. So you pop that in your pocket as well if you'd like to do so. Elsewhere, you also get your ear pods as well. So this is a cabled version. So that's uh, lightning ready. So you don't, have, you don't need any adapter or anything like that in the box. You can just get it out and you're good to go. And you've also got your USB-C to lightning cable in there as well because the adapter is actually USB-C. The bright, on the bright side of this is if you carry other plugs as well, that's also USB-C, you'll be able to plug that end into the USB-C. So for example, I've got a plug for my iPad Pro, I'll be able to carry just that if I need to, and I can use this for the iPad Pro and for this as well, although the other end, is there are, they are different, so that's USB-C on the iPad Pro, uh, in case you didn't know. But that's everything you get in the packaging. So you get your phone, earphones, and your uh, charging stuff. And uh, let's go through the phone itself, because this is the main star of the show. Uh, you've got that three lens uh, set up there and you know it's very similar in size to the previous iPhone 10, my battered iPhone 10 is there. As you can see, uh, you can see the differences there just a little bit. It's slightly thicker and this is slightly heavier as well, um, but you also get better battery in this, which is much better. And you lose that 3D touch as well, something that I'd never really used on my iPhone 10. So that's all okay, I'm not mad at all. Okay, so while I'm restoring my data back onto the new iPhone 11 Pro, let's just run through some of the specs here. So on the back, you can see that we've got that three camera lens set up. So we have the one that's right there, that's the ultra wide angle lens. You've got the telephoto lens there and you've got the standard wide angle lens right top, right at the top right. And you've got your microphone there and flash as well. So this has also got night mode as well, which hopefully I'll be able to demo and uh, share on my Instagram, my gadgets boys. So do make sure you follow me on there. Uh, this is just an unboxing, so I won't be running through any of those stuff right now. Uh, so again, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for future videos as well. There'll be loads more content coming from this device. So all three lenses are 12 megapixel each. The 12 megapixel wide angle lens is f1.8 aperture. The 12 megapixel ultra wide is f2.4 at uh, with 120 degree field of view. And then you've got the telephoto lens, which is f2.0. Again, you'll be able to zoom in and get closer shots, which is really cool. If you guys seen the coverage already, you, you see that you can capture ultra wide angle. And then after the fact, you can go back in and get more out of it as well, which is pretty cool. On the bottom, you've got your lightning port there and speaker grill. And on the side, on the right side is your power button and where your SIM card tray goes. And on the left side is your volume rocker and the silent switch. Uh, button right there as well. So I think this is starting to come through. So Face ID has been improved as well. So again, it's quicker and stuff like that. So let me just enter my pin code quickly. 
That's just the first time using it, I have to put that pin code in first. But other than that, uh, it's easy just to use Face ID Unlock, which is just as quick as ever. As you can see there, just slide uh, to unlock it and you're good to go. All my apps are currently uh, restoring back onto the phone from my iPhone X uh, and XS, uh, from my backup, my cloud backup. Other than that, it looks very, very similar. In fact, it's very hard to tell them apart, uh, especially when you get the other one in shot here. So you can see uh, the, the, the top uh, notch there as well. It's very similar to the new one. I believe the buttons moved ever so slightly as well. So when you move it to, when you put it together here, you can see that on the new iPhone 11 Pro, it's moved down ever so slightly there. Maybe just to make it easier for people to reach uh, the volume rocker, uh, as you can see there. Uh, but other than that, that's uh, more or less about it. In terms of uh, processor and stuff, it's got the new A13 chip in there, Bionic uh, processor chip. So again, it's very, very fast. This is running iOS 13, which again got uh, launched uh, to, to, to the public today. I've been testing on beta uh, on my other devices, but now it's public, so you can uh, use that. Uh, so it's seven nanometer as well, so it's very, very, very uh, uh Power efficient again, so which is pretty cool, and the GPU there and the CPU again. This uh, this is meant to be one of the fastest device out there right now, and this is very compact as well. In fact, if I don't get the iPhone 11 uh, uh, as a consumer, I'd go for the 11 Pro. Maybe not the Max. The Max might be too big uh, for usage. As you can see, there just fits perfectly in the palm of my hands there. Something else that's improved here, it's the quality of the display as well. So this can go up to 1200 nits of brightness, which is impressive. And the color just looks amazing. And you got that dark mode now as well, which I pretty much like. I've been using all my other devices again on beta. Uh, so it's nice to have that there permanently now. Um, and I like this matte finish on the back on this space gray edition. And I like that they've moved the Apple logo just a bit further down there. So it's, it looks really nice. Uh, but other than that, that's something that I just want to show you guys, just an unboxing and just a quick overview. Let's just go into that camera. I feel like I should show you guys the new uh, interface as you can see in my background there. So you got two times zoom, got wide angle lens there as well. You got portrait mode. They've done this so it's easy to use one-handed as well. Again, so you can press on all this uh, to, to record uh, video or you can slide to the right to carry on recording without having to press and press and hold it constantly all the time. One thing that you might need to switch on in settings though for camera if you like to do so. So if I go all the way down to camera here, you can capture uh, outside, photos outside in frame, both in videos and in photos as well. One thing I forgot to mention as well is you can now do 4K at 60 frames per second on all the lenses as well, which is pretty neat. I think that's really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to using that. And uh, yeah, and you still got slow-mo as well. And this is that Filmic Pro, uh, which again is not out yet, but we're looking, we're looking forward to seeing that app to come to public, which is what will allow you to record individually on all the lenses, including the front one as well, without having to uh, lose any, co any co uh, content or footage at all. To also keep my iPhone 11 Pro safe, I've got some cases from the wonderful people at Spec, here, as you can see, so they come in different colors as well. I've got the uh, Stay Clear version that's there, as you can see. I've got the so sort of like blue uh, coral color there. I've got the black one here as well with a bit cut out on all of them, and then the pink uh, version here as well, or is it orange or pink? Um, I'm not sure. It's got microband uh, anti anti um, microbial product protection, uh, so that's there as well. And this would this is drop tested as well, up to four meters. So this would protect your phone if you were to drop it up to four meters, which is pretty cool. There's an old video on that. If you guys want to check it out, I leave link somewhere up there or in the description as well. So do check it out in terms of all the advantages of this kind of cases for your smartphone. Uh, other than that, I've also got the Apple's official case here, which is this clear case. Um, as you can see there, it's the clear case if it goes in focus, yeah. Just about see it. Um, easy to peel off as well. I, in fact, maybe I should just stick this on my phone to show you guys. Uh, here we go. So this will preserve that nice looking phone that you've got without having to lose that design. So it is what it looks like on the phone itself. Nice and easy to... Uh, to put on and take off as well if you need to. It's got that big cutout there for the cameras. Uh, so again, it's nice, nice case. But if you want third party case, I'd recommend something like this from spec. So that's the unboxing of the Apple iPhone 11 Pro. Guys, let me know what you wanna know about this smartphone, what you want me to do with it. Drop a comment in the comments below. In the meantime, every extra information that you need to know about this, I'll drop them in the uh, description area, so do check it out as well. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification as well, so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. See you guys in the next one.